Hi, my name is Horst Schirmeyer from TU Dortmund in Germany and together with Professor Olaf Spinzig I will give a tutorial on fault injection with fail star at DSM 2018 in Luxembourg. Fault injection has been a standard technique for test measurement and comparison of fault tolerance implementations for decades. By using, for example, a virtual machine emulating faulty hardware, the developer of a software-implemented fault tolerance method can test the implementation and measure its effectiveness in an adverse environment. In this compact three-hour tutorial, we will give the participants a brief overview of software-implemented hardware fault tolerance and then familiarize them with fault injection concepts, techniques, tools and potential pitfalls. After that, we will evaluate simple fault tolerance mechanisms hands-on with Failed Star, a fault injection tool developed in our group. The experiments will be carried out by the participants themselves on their own notebooks, given they can run a VirtualBox VM. You will use Failed Star for all the aforementioned fault injection purposes to test your fault tolerance solutions and to measure and compare them against each other. Fault injection has been used for these purposes for a long time, and our tutorial will get you up to speed to use Fail Star for your own research. But besides test, which answers the question, does my fault, fault tolerance implementation work correctly? And measurement and comparison, which answers the question, is fault tolerance implementation A more resilient than fault tolerance implementation B? Fail Star can also be used for analysis, which helps you finding the critical components, the weak spots in your program that should be targeted by fault tolerance in the first place. So, for example, Fault Fail Star allows you to annotate raw fault injection results with high level language constructs such as global variables or executed functions that trigger errors. Also, you can aggregate fault injection results over the whole fault space or over data structure symbols of the analyzed program. You can aggregate per translation unit or per function. Even on a more detailed level, you can analyze the fault injection results on the level of high-level language code lines or machine code instructions. In the hands-on part of our tutorial, these different analyses will help you improve the fault tolerance of the provided example program. In the end, the fault tolerance implementations of all participants will compete for a small price and certainly fail. Our tutorial is intended for beginners in the field of software implemented hardware fault tolerance and fault injection. The only prerequisites are an own notebook with VirtualBox installed, basic knowledge in C++ programming and basic experience with working on the Linux command line. So I hope I got you interested uh, in our tutorial and we'll see you in Luxembourg.